Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here. Time for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. As always, thank you guys so much for all the great feedback. I have learned so much, not only about uh, playing this game, but also about the history of Dreadnoughts and naval warfare in general. I feel like I'm starting to get up to speed a little bit. Long way to go. I understand that. But with your help, we'll continue to improve. So please keep those comments coming. Uh, constructive criticism is always welcome and it will help me to be a better player and hopefully help other people who are watching these things to be a better player as well. So we're going to dive into uh, another battle here today that I haven't done yet. We're going to do the battle cruiser versus dreadnought battle. I've not attempted this yet. Uh, we're going to have one battleship that we're up against and we are going up against him with a battle cruiser. So uh, battle cruisers are not supposed to directly confront battleships due to their much lighter armor scheme. However, in this mission, you will have to design a battle cruiser that is powerful enough to destroy a heavily armed dreadnought. You'll have to balance firepower, armor, and speed in such a manner that your ship will be able to outmaneuver the battleship and keep inflicting hits while evading shell fire that could cause critical damage. Be aware that by increasing the battle cruiser's firepower too much, uh, you might dangerously increase the chance of ammo detonation from a penetrating hit. Uh, so this is going to be tricky. Survivability and maneuverability are an option. I could go with more funds, but that's only going to give me another $5 million, so I'm not sure how much that's going to help. Um, I'm looking at armor quality, armor forging, health, or health strengthening, internals protection. Uh, I feel like maybe that's the way to go. However, um, the enhanced firepower I feel like might give me a chance. So I think I'm going to go with enhanced firepower. And then I'm going to play around with this a little bit and see what we come up with. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be facing. But I do feel like having two would improve my chances. But I just don't know how I'm going to build something decent and still have enough money for two. So I, I'm probably looking at just one here. The speed seems to be something that might help me. Obviously range we can kick out right now because that's a non-issue in this situation. Right away, I'm looking at uh, the steam uh, engine changes, and I think that's going to be a helpful thing to do. Although you can see that dramatically drove up the cost already. Uh, so let's save that, at least until we see what we're going to be looking at with everything else. I'm guessing no matter what I do, the cost is going to be high. All right, so um, again, costs, but... Armor strength is a big, big deal here, so um, that actually drove down the cost some. Anti-torpedo, unnecessary, going up against a battleship. Uh, I don't I don't feel like this is going to be too much of an issue, uh, just because, again, we're not going to be facing torpedoes. Um, Citadel, on the other hand, I could see where that would be helpful, though it's going to drive up the cost. Uh, but penetrating hits, chance... Ammo detonation chance. Those are things that I definitely want to be able to protect against. Uh, we're not doing torpedoes, so that's a non-issue there. All right, let's go ahead and start building, and then we'll, we'll see where we're at. We've got three different advanced towers here that we can choose from. All of them uh, rather expensive. We're looking at a million dollars regardless, uh, but obviously this advanced tower 5 is almost the double. Uh, well, not quite double, but it's about... 4,000 tons more, uh, so it's going to make a big difference, but uh, spotting, torpedo spotting is not an issue. Damage control, communications range, not uh, communications not an issue. There doesn't seem to be huge, huge difference. Damage control, yes, but I feel like the differences don't really allow them to, they just don't make up uh, for the cost and weight differences, so... Um, Rear tower, different situation here. Um, but again, the weight is kind of a factor here. The cost is really different. So for now, I'm going to go with that. If I can keep this under 10, but I don't think I'm going to be able to, then that's one thing. If not, then we'll start going with the best available. These are all heavy. But again, I'm going to go with the smallest one for now. Until I see what happens once I get all the guns and everything. If I realize at that point that I can't 
uh, have two of these, then fine. Uh, we're going to have to go with the biggest guns we can possibly get here to try and balance the engagement a little bit. Although the difference between 14 and 13 is pretty significant in terms of the reload time. R range is actually a little better on these ones. I think I'm going to go with the 13 inch. Wait, let's get barbettes first. I think big should be enough for 13 inch guns. So let's go with that. And then again, the difference between two and three, there's a bit of an accuracy difference. But as somebody pointed out, uh, if you're firing three, obviously that kind of makes up the difference in terms of the percentage on accuracy. So I guess we'll go with three. We're a little bit offset on weight. I don't know if we can go a little further with that. We can. Let's just spread those out a little bit more, give them a little bit more of a ability to move around some. Obviously, secondary guns and casemate guns are a non-issue when we're dealing with just taking on a battleship. Again, as I've mentioned before, if I were in a campaign, different story. Uh, I've got to build for all the different eventualities, and so I would have to build for smaller uh, guns as well. But in this case, I'm going up against one battleship, so the only concerns really are my main guns. Now, the ship is overweight and we're over cost, so unless I dramatically reduce my speed, which doesn't seem to be making a huge difference, uh, it seems like I'm just going to have to go with one, uh, which definitely reduces my chances of being able to do this. Let's go... Uh, What's the best rangefinder we can go with? It looks like it's this one here. There's such a slight difference between what's grayed out and what's not that sometimes it's hard to tell. So I guess we're gonna just go with one, so we're gonna max this bad boy out as best we can. Uh, obviously there's a increased detonation chance if we go with the, the, the better shells. Um, we are gonna go with super heavy shells, however. Um, well, no, because again, there's the ammo detonation chance, but I feel like I need the, uh, the penetration bonus, but, uh, now we're going to go with standard just because I don't want that additional detonation chance. This reduces our detonation chance, but again, our weight is way off right now. So I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to deal with that. I don't have the tech to go any higher there. Um, and man, there's a, a severe issue here with with armor we're just not that protected when it comes to armor and i don't know there we go that reduces some of the weight not a lot i can do there all right we might have to try and improve the placement here i wonder if i could get another big gun in there is that a possibility no what about secondary guns? Those only go up to 8 inch, so that's not really going to help me any. So, Honestly, there's not a lot of benefit other than offsetting some of the weight, but that doesn't seem to be helping a whole lot. So, All right, let me think about this a little bit. All right, so I had to reduce my bulkheads to few. Uh, it's really, again, not much a, a whole lot of an issue because I'm mostly concerned about being nailed by his big guns and not by things below the waterline that are going to cause flooding so there's just not a lot I can do to armor uh, without being stuck on weight I'm already just about maxed out on weight so uh, unfortunately we're gonna have to go with this I don't I don't suspect I'm gonna win this the first time I'm gonna have to probably play it a few times through to figure out what I need to do to balance the terms of the engagement because he's gonna he's gonna out armor me big time and that's certainly going to make things difficult for me. I'm going to switch to armor-piercing shells right off the bat. And we're going to have to keep kind of going at max speed, hoping that makes a difference. I'm going to... Uh, I don't know if I should turn toward him or not. How far away is he? He's 10 kilometers away, so he's already pretty close. Hopefully I should be able to move a little faster than him. I'm 
I'm going to keep this on regular speed though, just because I'm going to probably have to do a lot of maneuvering. I'm going to constantly kind of shift back and forth just a hair, just to try and stay off of his guns hitting me because he doesn't, he doesn't have to land a lot to win. He's got to get lucky a couple of times. Let's see how good we do here. Oh, he's only got four guns? I actually outgun gun him pretty significantly. We're going to land here? No, we're all short. Every time his shots come in, I'm going to get a little nervous. He's obviously going to have more range than me. He's at 9.3 9 kilometers right now. how we do this time. He's only got four guns, which really surprises me. Here we go. See how we do this time. I'm gonna have to land a lot of hits, so. if I've got a max speed of 30. I'm going to slow down a little bit just to see if that will help with my accuracy. Oh boy. Those were dead on. They just had the distance wrong. I'm going to turn a little bit here. But that's the first hit that's landed so far. A 13 inch hit, mid belt, partial pin. Let's hope he doesn't do the same because his are going to do a whole lot more to me with that thin armor I've got. Oh boy. These look like they've got a chance. Ooh, okay, he was way off on distance. I'm, gonna shift. I'm just going to continually kind of shift my direction just a hair. And we're getting ready to fire again. I think I should still be able to fire a little bit. So not the rear ones. So we'll turn just a little bit so I can get that rear gun firing. Oh, there's another hit. Not
not doing a lot, but at least we're landing some hits. He has yet to do that. Fingers crossed. Speed things up a little bit here. Oh boy. Oh man, that one came really, really close. Looks like it landed in the water just in front of me. Alright, come on guys. Let's get some hits right here. Oh, another little one. Accuracy's getting better though. But that means his probably will be too. And we're getting closer and I don't necessarily like that. See if we can stay out in front of him. Oh boy, here we go. I'm hoping these are all going to land behind. It looks like they will. That one might hit. Oh, yeah. He just nailed me big time. Hit my main gun in the back. Hopefully we get that fire put out. to high explosives or not or whether or not they they would even make a difference you know I'm still learning what's what, what to do in each situation we're up pretty close now he's only four and a half kilometers away I mean this is pretty much a close encounter at this point I want to try and stay out in front of him as best I can I don't know how fast he's going. But at this point, I've got to start worrying about him landing a significant hit on me. There's another fire. So he's obviously using high explosives, which is what we're going to possibly be using here. I don't know. not sure if closing the range is going to benefit me or not because I don't know how his accuracy is compared to mine but I want to try and stay in front of him the best I can but at this point we're just kind of slamming each other from close range oh and here it goes something just went flying off my ship when that one exploded got all these little guns too. He's only got to get lucky once. I've got to get lucky a bunch of times. Three kilometers away now. destroyed my rear main gun. I damaged his, but... Uh. A lot of fires going now. This is just kind of a slugfest now, and I will not win a slugfest. I should have stayed at a distance. Ooh. Yeah. That's I'm doing half 
bad though. I mean, damage wise, we're about the same. some decent damage. I mean, I just got too close and let him land some shots on me. I'm curious to see what most of the, the shots have been for him so that when I replay this, I know what it is that I can protect a little better. I guess if I get it a fur, stay far enough away from him, I can sacrifice belt armor uh, in exchange for better deck armor. I don't know. But honestly, to have gotten this close, up this close, gives me hope that with the right build, I can take him out. This it hasn't been nearly as one-sided as I thought it would be. All right, let's go back to the drawing board. Okay, so what I've done is I've got my deck armor all the way up to eight inches. But in order to do that, um, and, and still keep under the weight. I think we can do a little bit more in the turret top too. In the turret armor. I had to sacrifice bulkheads and a lot of speed. Uh, but I still should be faster than him. And if I'm faster than him, I can hopefully stay at a distance. And protect myself. Uh, the belt armor is going to have to stay at 4 inches, unfortunately. I've got TNT explosives, which cost a lot, but they have better penetration, b better damage. Uh, so let's give that a try and change our tactics. Get a little bit better at staying at a distance instead of closing the gap on him. And see if that gives us a chance. So enemy smoke spotted in the north. We'll probably come in contact with him pretty fast. I'll start getting a little bit closer, and then once I do, I will keep that distance. I don't know what kind of shells we're going to start with, so we'll have to kind of see which ones work at this distance. I'm still kind of learning all of that, what to use where. But last time we made contact with him right away. This time he must be... Oh, there he is. Okay. All right, now we're going to we're going to stay at a distance. He's at 11 kilometers and he's coming straight at me. I don't know how fast he's going. Probably not going to land a hit here. You can see we're not even close. I'm going to try to keep him at a distance as best I can. And I think for now we can probably go with double speed. If he's coming at me, he's probably only going to be firing with those two front guns. He's at 10.7 kilometers. Let's see if we can keep him at that distance. All right, here we go. Wow. Wow. Not bad, not bad. He's already closed it by another half kilometer. I'm going to start turning away from him. I should be able to keep him at a distance. I can't imagine. Well, I'm only going 18, though. Those came pretty close. Down to 
All right, now that we're turning away from him, let's see what happens with the distance. Looks like it's staying at least steady. Ooh, he's getting closer. But so am I. Oh, there's a hit. Didn't do a lot, but it was a hit. Mid deck partial pen, 6.9 damage. Maybe at this distance what we need to be doing is hoping we get lucky with uh, armor piercing and uh, see if we can land a shot that explodes his shells. distance is starting to open up a little bit again so we're we're definitely going faster than him all right let's see what happens here that fire actually spread a little bit Those ones are going to land behind him. He's at 10.2 now, so we've opened up a little bit. Let's see if we can turn just a hair and, and get all of my guns firing. I want to see if these rear ones are able to fire from there. I'll be pretty happy if I can keep him right around 10 kilometers. Come on, let's land a hit. There's an armor piercing shell that landed right in the center and it didn't do anything. So let's go ahead and switch back to just trying to cause fire because I'm obviously not going to be able to penetrate his armor with my 13 inch guns. Or I just got unlucky with that one. I don't know. We'll try the high explosives. Stick with that. Try to cause some fires. We're staying close. See how he does. He doesn't have to land as many hits as I do, that's for sure. Way off on those. He turned a little bit. Oh, he's got six guns this time. Last time he only had three. He's got six 13-inch guns. Or last time he only had four, I should say. Does that mean he has less armor, or is he just an all-around stronger ship this time around? He closed it to 9.7 kilometers. Mostly, probably because I turned a little bit. Oh, come on, guys. Let's get a hit. I feel like my aim is getting worse. What's the distance now? 
Exactly. Oh, it's right at 10 kilometers. We're staying pretty much the same, same place. Are all my guns firing? Yeah, they are. He's only got 245 of his big shells left. How many do I have? 679. So it might just be a matter of waiting him out. Let him waste all his big gun ammo. And then I can just take my chances with, with his 7-inch guns. It seems like in all of these scenarios, the computer tends to not have as much ammo as I do. Come on, guys. Oh, that was close. That was real close. I'm going to speed it up a little bit for now because I'm not doing a whole lot of maneuvering. I'm just trying to keep him at distance. He's turning here and there, but he's staying right at about 10 kilometers. And I've got a pretty good angle that I can fire all my guns. There's a hit. Got a little fire going in the front. And brought down his structural a little bit. He's got a limited amount of 7-inch guns, too. And we landed another hit. Again, not a lot, but did some damage. Just got to keep pounding away, I guess. He's staying at kind of the same angle that I am. He turns every so often, a little bit. Turned a little bit more. Let's see if we can stay in front of him, see what the distance does. 9.7. It's only a 2%, 2.6% chance of hitting at that distance. Oh, those were close. I don't want to turn that much. Oh, yeah, he just landed a hit on me. Didn't do a lot, but... Looks like he slowed me down, down a little bit with that hit. Hit me in the stern deck. Come on, guys. Let's land some more hits. Get another fire going. Nothing. In front and in back. Those ones are a little... We're, we're close. Switch back to auto and see what happens here. Oh, he... He just landed a big hit on me. Another little hit, but man, I'm just not causing enough damage. But again, if I maybe can survive until he runs out of 13 inch shells. So maybe I just try to keep the distance and keep those lowered.
I'm down to 86%. I'm taking a lot of damage up front. Still at 10 kilometers. Come on, this might be a good salvo here. A eh, little hit, little hit. Multiple fires though. Hopefully this causes some structural damage. He's down to 90%, I'm at 86. I think I'll probably keep this angle, keep this distance. There's another hit, there's another hit, another fire. He's got 179 shells left at 13 inch, 185 7 inch. Come on, let's get another hit here. it on make sure we're on high explosives because those seem to be the trick for me I'm just not gonna penetrate his armor but if I can cause enough fires he's got up to 16.2 inch armor that's got to be his belt armor Oh. Problem is, it, because I have so many more guns, I'm probably going to run out of 13 inch shells as quickly as he does, and then I have nothing else. There's a hit. But without fires, it doesn't do me a lot of good to hit him. I've got 367 left. Yeah, mine are definitely dropping faster than his. He, I may run out before him. There's another fire. Damage to a main gun. Got him down to 83% now. Might be time to start closing the range before I run out of shells. Or at the very least, maybe we'll slow down a little bit. I'm at 86%, he's at 83%, so I'm actually slightly ahead now. It's another hit. But without fires, it doesn't matter a whole lot for me, I don't think. Those were close. Another fire, another damage to that rear main gun. It's starting to get in some bad shape. It's 
Same main gun? Yep, I keep hitting that rear main gun. No, it looks like I hit his uh, rear turret as well. Or uh, tower. No, maybe not. Looks like it's below there. Ooh, that one hit the side but didn't do anything. Another fire. That one's hit near his main tower. I'd like to take out a couple of his guns. Okay, he's down to 127 shells. I'm down to just 259. Ugh. I have to start saving ammo. And I'm going to have to start closing the gap here. Get get higher prob probability targets, which of course will give them to him too. But I'm, I'm counting on the fact that he's taken more damage than I have. But he can change that quickly. Man, if I just had a lot more ammo, I could have just kept up doing what I was doing. That would have done the trick. I just need to cause some more fires. Alright, you know what? Just fire. Let's take our chances. Distance down to 8.3. This makes me nervous getting closer to him. Hey, there's another hit. More damage to the main gun, another fire. Can't believe that main gun's even still operational in the back at this point. Come on, let's get some more fires going. Yes! Destroyed his secondary tower, big hit. He's down to 97 shells. I'm at 223. Ooh. All right, that's why it's dangerous to get closer. That was a big hit for him. He almost completely kind of evened the odds with that one. I'm going to go ahead and pull back away a little bit. Just going to take my chances with my limited ammo. I've damaged his front gun. His main tower is out. Hopefully now at distance I can score some better. Ooh, yes, yes. Destroyed his secondary tower. Both his towers are out. All right, yeah, let's keep it a distance. Let's turn. Take our chances. Speed up a little bit. Because at this point... He could still land a lucky hit and win. But otherwise, man, if I just have enough armor, I'll be okay. I mean, enough uh, shells, I'll be okay. I've only got 169 left, though. Hmm. This is making me nervous. Because I could have him just about destroyed and run out of ammo and not be able to finish him off. There we go. Hundred and fifty one left.
don't know how much more damage I can do with fires. I don't know if I need to switch to armor piercing at some point. I'm landing hits almost every time. Just 127 shells left. He's not really firing at me at this point. So maybe we do turn. Close the distance. Try to improve the accuracy of my shots. See what happens. I don't know if it's because I took both towers out. He's just not able to fire or what? Just 103 left. We've got to, got to close the gap. All right. We're going to save for high percentage shots. We're going to speed up the time a little bit until we get in range for those shots. Now he's firing. He's probably on save ammo too. Let's go ahead and switch and see if maybe armor piercing is the way to go at this point. Because I probably caused about as much damage as I can with fires. I might run out of ammo before I sink him. Fifty-five shells left. Ugh. Just missed with all of those. All right, I'm gonna slow down. Just not causing enough damage. Down to 37 shells. This is where it probably would have benefited me to have at least a couple of secondary guns for finishing them off, or torpedoes. That was a lot of damage there, but he just nailed me. Ugh, unreal. 31 shells left. I'm nailing him every time, but I'm just not causing enough damage. And now he's hammering me. You know, landing six or eight hits and his structural goes down by 1%. Just can't finish him off. And now he's wiping me out. Every one of my shells is hitting, but they're just not causing enough damage. My whole ship's on fire now. I'm down to 15%. I'm going to sink before he does. Unreal. Well, that was frustrating, but you see what I'm up against. So I'd love to know your thoughts. What do you think I need to do differently? It seems like the strategy the second time around was the way to go. Uh, I'm not going to play it again right now, but I want to take a look and see. I don't even know if there's a way to add more shells. I don't think that's an option that you get. Um, you just get to choose what kind of shells. Um, there's no option that I can see to add a higher amount of shells. So um, I don't know if I would have been facing the other one that time, the one that had fewer guns, I would have done better. But um, I believe in showing successes as well as failures. So let me know what your thoughts are on what, uh, what I need to do differently. 
Uh, use the comment section below, and we'll come back and fight this one again sometime soon. Thanks for watching.